guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my makeup use up goals for 2018 and also my beauty goals, if you will, for 2018. I picked out some items that I want to share with you guys and um, I just want to let you guys know which ones they are. That way, you know, I can do some updates throughout the year and we can follow along with my progress. So um, I... I don't have a lot of makeup items, like individual makeup items that I singled out as wanting to use up because I really want to focus on my lip products since I have so many lip products. So, um, and I didn't pick out the, the lip products that I wanted to use because I want to pick whatever I feel like in the moment. I feel like if I pick the colors now, when the time comes to use them up, I'm going to be like, oh, I don't want to use this anymore. So that's why I didn't pick out the numbers, the, the colors, but I'm just going to start with the makeup first. So the first thing that I have here is this uh, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Dim Light. Um, if you guys can see that, that is the old lettering from Hourglass from many, many, many years ago. <laughs> now the, the, the packaging has Hourglass here on the side and has more like block letters. Uh, but this powder is basically brand new. Um, it, it doesn't even have a dip. I bought this when these first came out. Um, I bought it because, you know, everybody was using them and people were saying that Dim Light was really good powder for their, all over their face, but it doesn't work that way for me. I actually have to use this as a contouring product type powder. So um, that's what I'm planning on using this as. So hopefully I can get through this this year. This is 10 grams, so it's fairly big. Then the next thing that I have here is a powder foundation, my one and only powder foundation from Laura Geller. This is in the color um, medium, and this is actually too dark for me. So I'm planning on using this in the summer uh, to give me a more bronzed look. Um, that is what this looks like. So hopefully um, I can make it work and I can get through this fairly, fairly quickly. The next thing that I have here is a product that I'm rolling over from 2017, and it's the NYX pencil in the yogurt, in the yogurt, <laughs> in the color yogurt. Um, I, this was, like I said, in my 2017 goals, but I didn't, quite get to this pencil so hopefully for 2018 I can use it up um, this color used to be like really really popular a few years ago actually in the YouTube makeup community so um, I bought it never used it I have I used up another color uh, bronze I think in 2016 if I'm not mistaken and hopefully I can get this one out this year the next thing that I want to use up is a, is a blush from Lancome in the color a plum um that's this one right here and this one was a gift with purchase it's very small it's 2.5 grams uh, but it's a nice what do you call it like mauvey pinky color i think it'll look good like on an everyday basis and as you guys can see i i basically blended it away so i i think it's because this blush is already old i i don't foresee myself having a hard time using this up i probably have to pack it on and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna last all day. So um, hopefully I can get this one out fairly quickly. Then I have a CC cream from Sephora. This is the um, Skin Perfect CC cream with SPF 20. I'm pretty sure the SPF on this is expired, but this is in the color medium. Um, I really wanna use this one um, this year just because um, I have so many foundations and, and I was kind of like, well, which one do I pick? Do I even bother picking a foundation? Um, but this is one of the oldest ones that I have, so I want to get it out of the way uh, before it gets even older. Then lastly for the makeups that I, makeup items that I have to show you guys, I have two, eye, well, three eyeshadows. The first two that I have are from this CoverGirl Cover Quad in the color um, Drama Eyes. And I had purchased this quad because Emily Noel back in the day said that this was her favorite um, drugstore quad from CoverGirl. And that is what this guy looks like right now. I used this up in 2016, so I've had this one for a long, long time now. I hit pan in 2017. Oh, this was in my, uh, the Star Wars one, the Revenge of the Fifth Project pan. And then this one had already had pa hit pan a long time ago. So I want to go ahead and just use up these two. This is a black eyeshadow that I really don't use. I don't foresee myself using these anytime soon, to be honest. Maybe after in the last six months of the year just because i have my pan that palette um and i wanna i rather if it if push comes to shove i'd rather finish those palettes than these two shades you know what i mean so but hopefully i can get to them this year 
And the other shadow that I have here is from Smashbox. It's in this little duo here. I got this in a Sephora, in a Play by Sephora box uh, two years ago now when I used to subscribe to that. And as you guys can see, I have already finished this shade and I have pan on this one. So I want to go ahead and finish this eyeshadow and hopefully um, I can do that this year. Then uh, the more general categories, um, I want to go ahead and use up two highlighters. That was my goal last year and I met it. So I, I'm just going to stick with two for now just because um, of the way I have some projects going. I don't foresee myself using up more than two. So I'm just going to stick with two. For bronzers, I picked three, and last year I used up four, but they were all deluxe size samples. That still counts because I count them as one in my, um, what do you call it, makeup inventory. So I used four, and so this three, this year I'm gonna make my goal of three. Um, I have one in a project pen, I have one um, in my pan that palette, and I'm looking to use up one more. Just because I'm gonna since I'm gonna be using this hourglass powder as a kind of like contour powder, um, I don't want to use another highlighter. I mean another bronzer to compete with this one. So that's why I only picked three. Then I want to use up seven eyeliners. Um, just either liquid or pencil. It doesn't matter. I want to use up seven. Last year I said I wanted to use four, and I ended up using a total of um, eight. And then for lips, I want to go ahead and use up 20 lip products. Um, I'm really gonna try hard and tackle um, my lip products now I am making um, I'm gonna try my hardest to not count lip balms I'm not discounting them completely but I'm really gonna try to make these 20 lip products be actual either lipstick or lip gloss uh, not so much lip balm because I can use lip balms very very easily and you guys know I need to really like hone down on my um, lip product category because I have so many, I have like 200 plus. So hopefully um, I can, you know, make a big dent in that. So, um, so that's for makeup. Now for the other beauty things, um, I wanna go ahead and finish my Fango Delicato Mud Mask from Burghese. This was in my products I want to use up in 2017 and I didn't quite finish it. I uh, I finished maybe half of it. Um, you can't really tell because the product goes all the way to the top, but um, I want to say maybe I'm like down to here where the Borghese is. So I think if I'm consistent in using this, maybe using it twice a week, um, I think that I'll have no problem using this up. Um, when you apply this, you have to apply a very thick layer onto your skin so you tend to use more than a regular mask because you're not supposed to let it dry, like if that makes sense. Like you're not supposed to let the mud dry on your face. That's why you're supposed to put a big thick layer. Then I want to use up this cleanser from Glam Glow. This is the Mud to Foam uh, Youth Cleanse. This was in a... I had another bottle of this in a project pan. I think it was my Justice League project pan. And I discovered that I didn't quite like it as much as everybody says that it's great. So of course I bought it, um, I bought it at Marshalls one time and then they went on sale at on the Glam, Glam Glow website. And I bought another one because I was like, oh, they're so cheap, but I hadn't even used the one I bought from Marshalls. So I ended up not liking it and I ended up having two. <laughs> so I just want to get it out of my collection because like I said, I'm not a big fan of this one. Then I want to use up two Saint Tropez bronzing mousse things. These are brand new. I've never used them. Um, and I want to use them before they go bad. I think they came like in some, some, some sort of Sephora kit. Um, you guys know me, I buy everything in kits and somehow I've accumulated two. So I want to use these up before they go bad preferably this year. Then I want to use up two body sprays. Last year I almost finished two. It didn't quite make it. I used up one and a half. So I'm going to keep my goal again at two body sprays. And I'm also going to add the goal of using up one perfume. Last year I didn't use up any perfumes because I was working really hard on finishing up my perfume samples and deluxe size samples of perfumes. And now that those are gone, I want to go ahead and finish and focus on the one perfume. So I have three fragrance things if you guys combine those two. Then I want to use up 
um, four full-size cleansers, face cleansers. Last year, I said I wanted to use 10, and I counted my deluxe size samples as one. Well, I, I counted two as one, and I met my goal, but um, I wanna go ahead and, and use up my big bottles that are taking a lot of space um, under my sink. So I wanted to use five originally, but since I already have this one, this will be one and then plus the four others, that'll be four. Um, I wanna use up eight body scrubs. Okay, eight. <laughs> um, last year, that was my goal and I just made it by the, the, what do you call that expression? I can't think of that expression, but I just made it. I actually finished my eighth scrub in December. So I'm gonna keep the same goal for next year. Um, I don't feel brave enough to up it a little bit since I just barely made it. Uh, and then my last category, I wanna use up 14 body butters or and or lotions. For 2017, I wanted to use up 15 and I used up 11. So I, I that's because that was my fault because I got a little bit lazy and I stopped using um, lotions. So I need to just get back in the habit of really moisturizing my body. Um, and when I was counting to see in my inventory, I have, um, I have 14 body butters and like combination of 14 lotions slash body butters so i figure that is you know if i can go through all of them by this time next year that'll be awesome that means i can i'll be able to shop the bath and body Works sale the semi-annual sale because this year i didn't buy anything just because i didn't want to accumulate anymore so that being said i'm hoping to just use up my whole stash that i have that way I can start 2019 with brand new body products. How cool would that be? That would be awesome. So that's it guys. Those are my goals for 2018 for makeup and beauty uh, and other beauty type things. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what your goals are for next year for 2018. What are you trying to finish? What are you trying to focus on? And that way we can keep each other accountable as the year goes on. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.